Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is code forces round 851 and the problem is sum of two numbers. So let's quickly see what the problem states. The problem states that uh, you'll be given an input as an n. You have to find two integers x and y such that x plus y equal to n and the sum of digits of x and the sum of digits of y should differ by less than or equal to one. Means what? Let's say the number is 51. You can do like 25 plus 26 is 51. And the sum of digits of 25 is almost 2 plus 5 is 7. And sum of uh, and the sum of uh, 26 is how much? 8. So 7 minus 8. Absolute value of 7 minus 8 is less than or equal to 1. Right? So we need to find these two numbers. Now we very well know that n has only two possibilities. That is n can either be odd and n can either be even. So let's take the possibility of n will be an even number. That is something like 1, 2, 6. If n is an even number, can I say n by 2 and n by 2? Can we product this, sum this? So 126 by 2 is how much? It is 63. And this is also 63. So sum of 63 minus sum of 63. That is 6 plus 3, 7, 8, 9. 9 minus 9 is less than or equal to 1. So this is possible. So in the case of even number, we very well can say that whatever be the number, both the numbers will be equal. So if both the numbers are equal, their sum of their digits difference is less, is always zero, right? So even number we have sorted. Let's say for odd number, uh, let's take an example like 23 and we'll do the same approach. Like if it's an odd number, we'll do n by two plus n by two plus one because it's an odd number. So 23 by two is how much? It is 11 plus that is taking the floor value plus 12. Now let's take the sum. Sum of 11 is how much? 2 and 1 plus 2 is 3. So I need to find the absolute difference between them. This is equal to 1 and this is also valid. So I can't. Okay. Now we say that, okay, we got both answers. I'll do n by 2, n by 2 for even and n by 2 plus n by 2 plus 1 for even. So now let's see, run the first test case here. So what is the test case? If it is 1, it is 1 and 0, n by 2 and n by 2 plus 1 is in 1. So 161 also 67 plus 94 is 161 that is 6 plus 7 is how much 13 and 9 plus 4 is also 13 13 minus 13 is 0. Now if you see the number 19, 19 is what 19 is an odd number right let's apply our rule that is 19 by 2 is how much 9 plus 10 n by 2 and n by 2 plus 1. Now sum of 9 is how much 9 sum of 1 plus 0 is how much 1 9 minus 1 is definitely not less than or equal to 1 man it is somewhere 8 so that's not possible so let's take something like 8 plus 11 still it's 8 8 minus 2 it's 6 it's not working so it's small number and one is that let's not bother about it our theory is wrong only for even number we have confirmed because both number will be same so we can confirm it for odd number we can't do it let's try to take some big example like 9999 9, 9, 9. So what is the closest possible uh, number that you can think of? We are just doing brute force here. We don't know. Just by observation, I say that uh, I can do 4, 4, 4, 4. So this is also a 4 here. And uh, this is like 5, 5, 5, 5. Now, if you sum both of these numbers, 5 plus 4, 9, 5 plus 4, 9, 5 plus 4, 9, 5 plus 4, 9. I'm getting 9. This is the closest number I can think of. Now. What is this? 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 is 16. 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 is 20. This is differing by how much? 4. 20 minus 16 is 4. Now what I have to do is, I need to balance this out. Like the difference should be at max 1. What will I do? Let's see. So what will I do is, I'll try to exchange it. Let's say, for example, instead of this one, we'll swap these two. That is 5 and 4. Let this be like this and this can be 5. 4 sorry this is 5 and this is 5 and this is 4 okay now also the equality satisfied 5 plus 4 is 9 4 5 plus 4 is 9 4 plus 5 is 9 5 plus 4 is 9 what is the sum of this this is 18 and this is also 18 now the difference became exactly equal so it is okay so we understood that what is the relation between 4 and 5 this is also nothing but 9's n by 2 and n by 2 plus 1 n by 2 is 4 n by 2 plus 1 is 5 but uh, I'm still not sure how to actually go through this. So for that, we'll use a simple rule here. 9, 9, 9, 9. So what are the two numbers we need to do? This is x number and this is number y. 
So what did I tell you? First, let's give the priority for it, X and Y. X, Y should be the closest possible. Some of digits should be closest possible. So whenever you are taking single integer, right? The part in X will also be a single integer. I hope you are getting it. So if I want to write, let's say uh, we have four and five, right? Five is a bigger number. Let's assume that let X have the bigger priority now. I'll assume five here and four here. X is bigger, but on the next turn, I'll make Y as bigger. Why am I making Y as bigger is to just balance this out. So now X is bigger. Next turn, Y should be bigger. So Y is bigger. Now both are same. Now again, I'll make the X as bigger. Five. Now Y is smaller. Y again should be made bigger. See, the difference is just one now, right? Sum this 10, 18, and this is also 18. What if there is one more nine here? So y is bigger, now again I'll make x as bigger, that is this one is 5 and this one is 4. What is 18 plus 5? 18 plus 5 is 23 and what is 18 plus 4? 19, 20, 21, 22. Again it's the same, the difference is just 1. Earlier I got difference of 0, now the difference is 1. So let's take another complicated example, 4, 1, 3, 5, 7, 2. Okay, this is an even number, so what do we do? We do n by 2, n by 2. We are done. It's the same. But what if it's an odd number? So let's say 4, 1, 3, 5, 7, 2, 9. This is X and this is Y. So we'll give priorities here. X and Y is there. So if it's an even number, we don't have to consider at all. We just can put 2, 2. Now 1 is an odd number. Who should be given higher priority now? We can split it into 1 and 0. Let's give X as the higher priority. 3 is again an odd number. It can be split as 1 and 2. Who should be given x was earlier having the priority now y will be given priority that is uh, 2 and x is 1 now 5 again here x should be given priority both are equal so x should be given priority means it can be 3 and this can be 2 now again 7 7 means y should be given priority so that is y is 4 and this is 3 2 is an even number it is 1 plus 1 same again 9 came both are equal, x should be given priority. That is, this is 5 and this is 4. Let's try to sum this. 2, 3, 4, 7, 10, 11. 11 plus 5 is 16. Let's sum this. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 11. 11 plus 4 is what? 15. 16 minus 15 is how much? 1. Now, what we are actually doing here, see the magic. We, if it's an even number, if it's an even digit, we are just slicing it to half, definitely it will be same, but if it's an odd number, we are just making sure it differs by one, and if again an odd number comes, we'll just reverse the priorities. So uh, if it's like three, you are writing as one, two, on the next number, we need, this guy is having advantage, right? This guy is having one advantage. So we need to give X also one more advantage. So we'll put three here and two here. 1 plus 3 is 4, 2 plus 2 is 4. So it's something like that. You just need to keep on balancing it. Now let's see how we are coding it. So before that, I'll show you the solution. This is the solution number. If you have any doubt, please refer to this solution. And I'll attach the same in the description. Now, for our, uh, we'll take a very simple problem and run through it. So let's say it is 9, 2 and 3. So if it's an even number, it's n by 2, you all know. Now, I am iterating through it. This is what? digit of s of i minus 0 what is this s of i uh, minus 0 simply states that uh, i am taking it as a string it can be a big number so i am taking it as a string and uh, i am because uh, if it's an integer we have to take modulo 10 to get extract those digits i am taking as a string now digit mod 2 equal to equal to 0 if it's an even number we are not going to do anything if it's an odd number digit by 2 and digit by 2 plus 1 initially the f flag is 1 f flag is just controlling the priorities so initially five first of i is digit that is digit by two nine by two is nine by two is uh, four so i have just made it as reverse so anyway it will work it is four here and second of i is five now f became zero on the next turn two if it is two it's an even number digit by two digit by two two by two two by two again it's three digit by two is how much digit becomes one right digit value becomes one and digit plus one becomes 2 what is the value of f is 0 because it is changed first value becomes digit plus 1 digit plus 1 is 2 here and digit becomes 1 so 4 5 6 7 
फाइव सिक्स सेवन बोथ आर सेम एंड दैट्स ऑल एंड अगेन देर इज वन ट्रिकी पार्ट हियर दैट इज जीरो सपोज लेट्स ए आफ्टर आइट्रेटिंग थ्रू इट राइट लेट्स ए द एक्सैम्पल दैट वी सॉ अलियर सो इफ वी डू समथिंग लाइक दिस वी मे गेट राइट वी मे गेट समथिंग लाइक द आर ए कैन बी जीरो फाइव वन फोर सो यू कैनॉट सिंपली प्रिंट जीरो फाइव वन फोर वी नीड टू रिमूव दिस जीरो so that's what this script every this is everything about that is if first of i is not equal to 0 i can simply put 0 as uh, plus plus and i am just printing it that is phi everything but if it is 0 i am just ignoring these numbers first equal to equal to 0 and the 0 is also 0 it is false so it won't go here so until and unless i see a natural number here i won't iterate it i should put 514 and suppose if if in the case of 1 i am writing it as 0 1 right I won't print here at all. So for that, if zero equal to equal to zero, I never saw any number. I'll put zero. So I'll print this number then one. Same for the second number. This is for first number and this is for second number. That means if fourteen and zero five can also come in some cases. So uh, like I mean, uh, it can be uh, the second number can be more. It can be zero zero five or zero one four something like that. I just need to cancel these zeros. That's what this code is about. And uh, similarly, zero equal to zero, zero less than one zero. In that case, we are doing this one. One zero won't come, but just in case uh, through our code, there are some exceptions. For that, uh, we are using it. So that's it, guys. It's a somewhat tricky problem. So I hope uh, things are clear, and uh, see you in the next video. Thank you.